Welcome to Let's Talk Mission Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we demonstrate the draw conics command for defining new conic segments in pointwise. The create conic command can be accessed from either the draw curves submenu of the parent create menu or from the toolbar shortcut pull down menu. Selecting the conic option opens the draw conic panel. Here, many of the same options exist as those for drawing several of the other curve types within Pointwise. You can select between creating connected or database entity types from within the entity type frame, add control points via the XYZ entry field or display window, as well as edit and delete existing points. The advanced frame provides several options to add control points relative to an existing control point or reference. There is also a Movement Restrictions pull-down menu that helps constrain control point movement to a given surface, screen, or reference body. This is often useful when editing a control point's movement within the display window. You can edit existing control points by hovering your mouse pointer over the control point until it becomes highlighted, left-clicking, and dragging the control point to its new location. The Restore button can be used to undo the last change in movement made to a control point and return it to its original position. Conic segments are conic sections defined by exactly three points. The first two points correspond to the ends of the conic, and the third point, typically referred to as the shoulder, will lie on the interior of the conic between the first two. Alternatively, the third point can define the conic's tangent intersection. To create a conic segment, you first define the two endpoints for the conic curve. Next, you define the third point, and its role can be changed using the shoulder or tangent intersection radio buttons available in the conic segment options frame. In either mode, the tangent lines and their intersection are displayed for reference. The entry field labeled row allows you to adjust the conic segment's row value. With the shoulder option selected, entering at a row value of 0.6, the control point does not move, but the tangent intersection does, thereby slightly changing the shape of the conic curve while in shoulder mode. While switching over to tangent intersection mode and changing the row value back to 0.5, notice that when row is edited, the third control point moves, but the tangent intersection does not. This results in a more drastic change to the shape of the conic curve when using this mode. To save your conic segment, click the Apply button. To save your conic segment and exit the Draw Conic panel, click OK. And that is an overview of how to use the Draw Conics command in Pointwise. Thank you, and have a pleasant Tuesday.